Okay, now this is going to be the third part of the um, weathering tutorial series. Now, what I've done with uh, these parts is I've uh, flat coated this, so it's got this nice rough uh, texture to it. When you feel it, it's also not shiny. Now, this technique works because of the, uh, the flat coat. So, what I can use is... Oh, stupid dog. What I can use is uh, pastels. Which these are basically chalk pastels. Uh, I have various sets here, and um, these can be taken out. Uh, a knife. This can be taken out and you know, into a dish and just kind of scraped to. Or you can use sandpaper to do this. Once you have a little small amount. Those chalk pastels, you're gonna just take a brush and just take a small little brush and apply it to an area like this. Now, since this is flat coated, um, the pastels have a surface to grip. I can also create little um, soot marks. Around the around the vents, I'm just gonna I just lightly applied the the um, pastels to to those areas. Now some of these um, scratch marks, you know, apply a little suit in the middle of it, little black marks, and also some of these bullet holes. I'm gonna also apply the pastels just carefully dab it into these holes. Now, there's a lot of pastels on it. I could just blow it away and get rid of most of the excess. Now, I'm gonna get the rest of the bullet marks. Now, what I can do after this is I could blend these areas together. So, going back to this part where I have the little suit right here, I can take a Q-tip or a paper towel and just kind of blend it. I can also drag it out so it to get different um, a different mark uh, a directional mark on this. So, for instance, if I have a bullet mark like this, I can also kind of drag it out so that maybe it, you know some powder burning <laughs> on the edges. Again, I'm gonna take my brush and apply a little bit more to this area. I could use the brush and draw a little direction to it. Once I kind of fade that out, you can see that area is, has a little dark, has been darkened a little bit. And I could keep applying more pastels and to get the right, you know, tone I want. I can also use this and add a little bit of lighter fluid to this. So it's almost liquidy. And I can use use this to create uh, oil marks. So for instance if I want like um, some of the edge, some of the little uh, corner edges on this. I want, I want a little oil mark. Just dab that in there, and you get kind of an oil mark effect. And once this dries, you get that um, you have an oil stain. So I'm just gonna go and find a random, random area and apply an oil stain. And there we go. You can take the Q-tip and drag it out so you have maybe the oil stain run a little bit. So there you have a quick oil stain. Now aside from these pastel kits, um, to me it makes these weathering kits like, the, like these. And these are basically ground up pastels that you can use. Um, there's various other people that I've you know, worked with and talked to in uh, weathering have actually used makeup kits and basically these are uh, glorified makeup kits 
it's going to um, your girlfriend, wife's, or uh, mom's uh, uh, makeup counter and pick up some of her stuff. Granted, this doesn't have, you know, the perfume, but um, these are basically just chalk pastels, which is ground up form. So, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the um, light sand and just going over the edges of the foot. And basically, with this, you could create a very, you know, dusty foot like it's been running through the sand, running through the mud, running through the dirt. Depending on uh, what type of terrain you want, I'm gonna go with a sand and dirt terrain. So I'm using this color. I'm just lightly applying it to the edges, and I will, you know, again use the Q-tip to f blend everything and fade the, fade everything together and make it look proper. Now again, it's important that you use a flat coat. We're gonna use a clean Q-tip so that I don't mix these colors. And I'm just gonna kind of blend in the effect. Anywhere I need it, I'll just add more of the. Trying to blend things in together a little bit. <laughs> A little bit more sand. Now again, this effect uses a flat coated surface for this, you know, to grip onto these uh, pastels and makeup components. So I grab this so I can better work with it. I can see that you know the lake has been become a little dusty, and uh, a pretty cool weathering effect. Now, back of the legs, I usually like you know these areas. I usually like to add a little bit of rust. So I'm gonna grab. You can make your own rust color, or you can use the you know, makeup kits. I'm gonna clean off this uh, brush first. And then load my brush up with some rust. Now these do come up with, you know, make up uh, an applicator, you know, sponge, and a brush. And this is basically something you'll find in your makeup aisle or cosmetic aisles. And uh, so I'm just gonna over here apply a little bit of, you know, rust. A little rust right here. I'm just gonna leave it so that it's got the got the pigments there like that. But what I could do is take the take my um, Q-tip and kind of draw in rust marks. So you see that I've gotten. A little bit of a direction with my rust, so you could do. You could take the you know your rust and whoops, wrong brush, and apply it in some of the areas you want your rust effect to appeal or appear, and then take your Q-tip and kind of blend it and feather that rust in. You can create all sorts of different weathering effects just using these pastels. And once done with this, you could also um, clear coat this so that you no, know, these pastels won't come off. Because these pastels are just sitting on the surface. What I tend to do is I over pastel this, and once I uh, spray the clear coat, it kind of uh, the clear flat, it kind of fades out the pastel, so it's not too strong. Now I'm going to show now is. Um, you could also, you know, you could also use these uh, pastels to create a shaded effect. Now, something for thruster bells, I'm going to use this, you know, soot. And this is basically like the black pastels. I'm just going to get the edges of, of the thruster bells. 
you can see as I'm applying this, it's the edges are getting kind of darker, so it you know gives it the effect of you know the thruster bells are you know in use. You also do that to the internal of the thruster bell, and just kind of give the internals internals a little bit of a weathered look to it, so that they're not you know nice and shiny as you wouldn't expect you know the thruster bells to be overly shiny. You take this and take the Q-tip and blend everything in as well. Any excess you can just blow it away. So you get the pretty quick way to um, weather the thruster bells. Now since you know if you look at these tar pastels they come in you know a lot of different colors. So for some of uh, some of you guys that don't uh, paint uh, you guys can also just flat coat your kits and then uh, use these to weather them or uh, to actually apply a, a post shading effect getting all the edges and then feather in the edges uh, I'll eventually do a tutorial on that uh, in the future but for now this is just going to stick with the weathering so you can see that there's all sorts of effects you can do with um, these uh, weathering or these uh, pastel kits uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish weathering these up and apply clear coat and we'll be done.